So four months, guys, it took me only four months to repair my credit so I could get my dream car. I started January 2020, guys, and I got this in May 2020, man. So if you guys uh, maybe have bad credit or no credit, and you know, you're trying to build up specifically for you know buying your dream car, whether it's a Camaro SS like mine, or Dodge Charger, Dodge Scat Pack, Dodge, you know, whatever, man, Mustangs, whatever dream car you want. I'm telling you guys, if you follow these steps, they're pretty quick they're pretty easy to do man it's practically free as you will come to see and man let's just get right into it i'm in the ferrari of the american car <laughs> you see right here yeah. super sport guy super sport guys so before I tell you the steps that I took to repair my credit I have about four steps listed down here on my phone but before I get into that let me just tell you guys that technically um, in a few places a lot of them will accept you no matter how bad your credit is right the purpose of fixing your credit is so that you can have lower down payment lower monthly payment um, lower interest rate if you're going to be making payments on the car you want that to be as low as possible so that being said um, if you have a super super duper large down payment maybe like 50 60 percent or more going you don't necessarily have to fix your credit because if you can put that much down at this point I, the credit doesn't even matter as much but if you're like me you're not rich you know um, I was only able to put like six thousand down on my Camaro so if you want to put a down payment like that or maybe less you know you know you can watch this video to fix the credit all right guys so the first thing I did was that you know I started looking into secured credit cards okay and basically what those are is credit cards that you basically use your own money for to open so um, what that means is that you know unlike the traditional credit cards where you go and try to get approved for them you know loaning you some money and then you spend and pay it back and stuff this one is the same way you have to you know spend and put back the money but it's your money to begin with so for example the first secure credit card I got is with discover and I'll put a link in the description for you guys um, if you uh, want to check it out for yourself but the first one I used was discover okay and this the discover secured credit card um, I opened it with a credit line about $2,500. You don't have to put $2,500 in the account. They give you lots of other options. You can put a thousand, you can put 500. Um, I think you can put less. Now guys, the biggest thing about secure credit cards is opening it, okay? As soon as you open the account, okay? Um, or I should say, as soon as they report the opened account to your credit, you get a boost to your credit score, okay? And I kid you not, every time you open a new card, okay, just from that being reported on your credit, it boosts your points. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just because you're uh, overall increasing your credit versus, um, you know, debt ratio. But every new account, it's giving you uh, points. And it's a decent set of points. It's not like one or two. Like, for example, I opened the Discover credit card and I believe my score my score went up like about 20 something points just from opening the account man another thing about the discover card guys is that if you do sign up um, with someone who's already um, you know with their card uh, for example like me um, I do actually have a link that's technically an affiliate link if you sign up you actually get $50 like just like that towards your credit statement so you basically get $50 for free um, I actually, uh, from what I read, it actually gives me $50 to, towards my credit statement. Free money, man. Boost your credit. 
it's a win-win situation man um no money technically is coming out of your pocket but this is literally free to boost your credit and give you a little bit of money in the process pretty much all right guys so the second thing i did i started messing with this program called self lender um i actually just finished with them because i paid off the account um i think like last month um it was supposed to be for two years but i decided to just pay it off early self lender how it works is that they give you a loan but they don't give you an actual loan so it's like they will report to your credit that they gave you five hundred dollars but you know you never get that money but it's in an account that you have to put money towards okay so for example me i believe the account i opened was about five hundred dollars and basically i was paying about 25 25 dollars every month okay to to pay to pay off the the uh, the money that um you know they virtually loaned me so what happens though is that at the end of a self lender term when you pay off the account or when you close it what happens is they give you all that money back that you put into it um but um one thing they have a very very small interest rate i cannot remember the amount but you know of course they have to make some money their way just like the discover card guys uh you know when you when you open the account as soon as you open it they boost your credit just from reporting it it was the exact same thing with self lender you get a jump so basically you know um overall you want to be opening as many of these types of accounts as you can like whether it's like self lender the discover card or any other secure credit card you know every time you open these guys it's boosting your account i do have a link to sign up in the description of the video you know if you guys want to check that out and build your credit man all right guys so the third and last thing i have on my list that i did to fix or boost my credit um and this one may seem obvious but you you want to pay off your debts but pay off the lowest debt first okay um you know it just makes it easier on you if you're struggling you know to make the you know whatever obligations you have it's just easier to start with the lowest one first because that is technically going to be the easiest one and you know um the the the, the fastest one you can take off so pay off the lowest one first um another good thing is um if you guys have any debt and it's with a collection agency okay see if the original um you know company or whoever you owe the money whether it was to a credit card company or a phone company uh for example me i owed money to my t-mobile uh, phone company previously and the amount they wanted me to pay was like 200 and something dollars i believe and i left that on my credit for a long time man and you know it was with the collection agency for a while and when i finally decided to call up the collection agency and you know pay it off and you know the lady actually told me that you can either pay the full amount or it looks like they're willing to settle for less for about like half of that which was like you know i think like just about 99 dollars or so so that was amazing she, I, she probably you know she didn't even have to tell me that i'm sure if she wanted she could have just taken the whole payment over the phone um you know because i came ready to pay the full balance and you know the collection agent pretty much told me like hey you don't have to and you know um it was an easier process than i thought man you know i thought dealing with like um collection agencies and stuff is just gonna be a nightmare but you know luckily for me it was fine man i don't know how the rest of them are but you know it's not that bad man i haven't really told anyone my credit score um i mean i tell you guys a lot of things but for for certain reasons i don't like putting my exact number um of certain things um out there but just for this video or just to you know help you guys i mean for some of you you want to know this because you feel it will help you some way but I mean, as long as you follow the steps, it's just a matter of fixing your credit, but I'll tell you anyway. So when I started the credit repair journey, my credit scores were in the fours. And I believe I mentioned that in my first YouTube video. So I believe you guys already know that. When I was done with this, well, I'm not done. I'm still repairing my credit, you know? So when I went to get my car, okay, and they pull my credit and stuff, my credit score was almost 700 it was high sixes so i believe like 680 something 680 something close to 690 i can't remember the exact number but 
you know, I'm still working to build my credit, but you know, you guys, uh, some of you asked me what was my credit score, you know, when I went to get the car. So if you stuck to this video till the end, man, your answer is in this video, you just got it, man. But um, yeah, in four months, four months, man. Um, let me know if you guys try any of these steps, you know, let me know if it works for you. But that's what worked for me. Those are those are all the things I can think of um, that I remember that I did, man. And, you know, I'm in my dream car, man. So that is it for this video, man. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys try this and it works for you. Um, if you're looking to build a credit or fix it and yeah, let me know what else you guys want to see on the channel, man. I've been making a lot more videos you know to help you guys like get your dream car too um you know a lot of you watching my channel you told me that you want to get this car or some kind of muscle car or you know sports car and stuff so i decided that lately most of my videos are kind of going to be focused to, towards that and if you look at the last few videos that i've posted well besides the racing ones <laughs> you will realize that you know my videos are focused more around helping you guys you know so yeah man um that is it for this video i'm gonna upload and edit this video right now man and i'll see you guys in the next one